What's going on guys? In this video I want to explain why getting all the bolt cutters and grappling equipment and the guard clothing, depending on what your approach is, is completely useless. Now that we're back at the screen guys, I'm going to get right into it. So the first thing I want to say is depending on the approach you are doing, you do not need any bolt cutters, grappling equipment, or guard clothing. Now a lot of you are probably like, wait, so is I getting these for no reason? If you guys are running the stealth approach on this heist, you actually do not need any of those at all. Um, you go in through the drainage tunnel, you come out by the main dock there, you can grab it. the weed, cocaine, or the other piece of weed that you'll see on the map in the middle there. If you can carry it all, again you can only carry so much, if you do get the artwork in the compound, the elevator where you do the fingerprints, then you'll only be able to get so much over there. Again, grab as much as you can take out the enemy silently, and then head out of there. You do not need any guard clothing, grappling equipment, or bolt cutters. When I was actually leaving, the last one I did in the previous video for that stealth run of the heist, there's a guard clothing right near there. I didn't even grab it. Killed a few of the enemies silently, went on the camera, grabbed what I needed to, did what I did, and then I just got out of there. It depends on what approach you're doing for what you will need. In one of my comments in a previous video, they were like, why would you have three grappling hooks on the opposite side of the map when your escape point is on the other side? There is no reason to do that, guys. You're not going to go all the way over there and grab them. So I'm trying to save you guys some time here. There's no reason to go spend like three or four hours trying to get four of each around the entire map. Now, I've seen a lot of people asking questions. Do you need four of them if you have four crew members and all that? So the answer to that would be no. You actually only need one. Everybody can grab that single, let's say, bolt cutter. In that area let's see if a bolt cutter by the north dock up there all four players can use that bolt cutter you do not need four of them and everyone has to go to a certain one around the map and then meet up you do not need to do that that would be ridiculous right the other thing i wanted to mention is if you're planning on leaving a specific area on this heist for the escape point there is no reason to have maxed out bolt cutters grappling equipment and guard clothing spread around the whole map unless you're going for the full payout again i don't think you need to grab all of them like that unless they're in areas where you need to get the weed cocaine and cash if you're going for the full payout if you're actually going for the regular run solo i would recommend doing it stealth the reason for this is it's very easy it can be done in 10 to 15 minutes without no issues maybe a little longer depending on what happens again if you're going for the elite challenge you got to be in under 15 minutes but if you're just in there just trying to complete it you could do it in 20 minutes no stress, none of that. Easy, and you could be out of there. You do not need any of the items either, so you don't need to come to the island and photograph everything again and send it to the guy. No reason to do that. I also don't know if you need to photograph the weed cocaine in those areas every time. Uh, let me know in the comments below on that. I do it anyway just because, so I know exactly where it is when I go over there. When you're in the moment of the heist like that and there's enemies everywhere, you don't want to be thinking or going oh is it over there because sometimes the areas that you went to before there's actually no weed cocaine or cash in there sometimes or it's one on one side and there's not two different kinds in there so keep an eye out for that i would check the same areas if you are doing like let's say stealth check the warehouse in that area like go over there and scout it make sure there's actually something in there because sometimes i notice they can't have one specific of weed, cocaine, or cash, or I've even seen none in some of them. So just keep an eye out on those if you're looking for that. If you guys are planning on doing the heist a different route than the said stealth, let me know in the comments below the ways you're doing it. Um, I know there's so many different ways to do this heist. I know that you have to actually use the guard clothing because you can go in with the guard as a guard with the supply truck, sorry. And then you can also go over the wall with grappling equipment or obviously break bolts with the bolt cutters. Depending on what approach you do, you obviously have the mandatory prep mission for the heist, which is a cutting torch, which I believe completely gets rid of the reason to use the bolt cutter. Um, people wondering where you get the plasma cutter from, mandatory mission as well, just to get through the glass. For me, I have tequila, so that's what you would use to open that. Everything else on this, guys, again, I mean... I really want to answer these questions. I've been seeing it everywhere. I've been asking myself this, this same question. Why am I collecting all these even though I don't use them? Turns out you really don't even need to. 
run on in there and do stealth, do it fast, or pick another approach, go in there with the supply truck and guard clothing during the day. Whichever way you do this heist, guys, you want to make sure if you're leaving that specific area and you're doing this as fast as you can, make sure if you do need the bolt cutters, grappling equipment, or guard clothing, make sure it's in the area you're leaving at or at least near it. You don't want something all the way at the airfield when you need to leave at the main dock. There is really no reason for that, right? Unless you have to... I don't really know the reason to go over there unless you're trying to grab a little more weed or cocaine or cash. But personally, there's really no reason to go all the way over there. I would recommend grabbing what you can by the dock and just getting out of there. Again, it depends how many people you have with you because you can grab a lot more. But if you're solo, just make it easy as possible. There's no reason to go all over the place. I know a lot of people are not going to leave, let's say, at the submarine. Because if you look, the submarine is all the way on the top right of the map there. I don't see the reason of leaving the submarine as you will see here if I go to it all the way at the top up there blinking. If you're solo, there's no reason to go to the compound and leave it the submarine because you're not going to be able to carry everything around the map anyway by yourself. So I would just leave at the main dock. It's the closest. I know a lot of people know that, but I wouldn't. there's really no reason to make this harder on yourself, guys. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below or ask the comments anyway because I'm sure that people can answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching.